tanks were assembled a mile west of Begendorf in a shallow valley to avoid enemy observation. Following the air and artillery bombardment, they came out of concealment to begin the attack on 16 November. The tanks deployed over open territory as they advanced. They moved through Begendorf toward their initial objective, Loveris. Supporting infantry of the 2nd Armored Division followed after the tanks. Although it had been in our hands for some weeks, Begendorf was under heavy mortar fire. As tanks and men moved out from Begendorf, they had to advance over bare fields with little cover and under constant artillery and small arms fire. Early in this attack, prisoners were taken and marched to a field behind the lines for examination. The Germans were sent back to Begendorf, which served as a gathering point for many of the prisoners taken during this action. The second armored division, supported by a regiment of the 102nd Division, took Loverick in the first two hours of the action on 16 November. The town was still under heavy mortar and artillery fire the day after its capture as troops and equipment passed through. <laughs> 